Welcome back, friends, to my worm channel. Uh, this is my next worm video. As you can see, this is my worm bin one on the 25th of March and seven days after my last feeding. Uh, this is a follow up to the video uh, that is two videos ago on my channel. Uh, so, something really interesting when I opened this up, I saw these uh, looks like mushrooms um, growing. Um, and I was actually kind of surprised to see that. I have been chopping up uh, mushroom stems and just adding it to the Ziploc baggie that I freeze for all the food that I feed to my worms. Um, so it's really interesting. There must have been spores in there or something. Or I, I mean, I don't know how mushrooms work exactly, but uh, I'm pretty sure those are mushroom sprouts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, uh, I found those in there. Just kind of was really interested, so I kind of segregated them. I think I ended up burying them. Um, in there uh, somewhere uh, so yeah this is um, I'm just uh, taking off the covering here uh, I really like when I take off all the uh, newspaper or paper towel covering I, I, I love when I see worms hanging out around there um, and it's really gratifying to see like the degradation of whatever covering I'm using it like when I find holes and stuff in it, um, and it's eaten up. Um, those are mushrooms again. Uh, yeah, so I'm starting to dig up. Uh, so I fed this, uh, my last feeding was on the left-hand side. Um, and something that I see here, I, I totally forgot. I, I, I put a big piece of paper towel in here on the left-hand side. And wouldn't you know, there's a huge worm party on it, just like, Worms swarm all over that paper towel. It's really cool. Uh, I found that thin layers gets eaten up much better. Like in the past, if I've accidentally kind of bundled it up where uh, it's much thicker and it's not spread out and thin, then it doesn't really get eaten up uh, nearly as quickly. Uh, so I do my best to kind of like once the the stuff starts uh, decomposing, I do my best to not like just crumple it up into a ball and put it back in, but try to like spread it out a little bit. Um, so yeah, just uh, rifling through this one. Um, obviously, as you can see, worms are looking healthy. Um, they're looking good. I'm happy. I'm happy with how. Uh, how this project generally is going it it seems like uh they're doing a really good job of just <laughs> of just being worms i guess i don't know how to say it um like you can just see like the the castings starting to form all mixed in there um, i'm really excited for when i'm going to be able to actually harvest uh for the first time So I like to always just rifle through everything, just take a look at everything, give everything a chance to kind of, uh, if anything's clumped together, kind of break it up, make sure it gets nice and aerated, make sure that there's no bottom parts of the bin that are like stinky or going uh, anaerobic. And uh, I could tell you like the last couple of weeks as, as I've been doing this for both of my bins, um, it smells less and less like well, I, I think I mentioned in a previous video when I first started, like food may have pulled up, uh, food or water like pulled up on the bottom, and maybe I put too much food and it didn't decompose fast enough. But um, and it, it like smelled a little bit, but now it, it's just getting better and better. It, like doesn't smell. The worms are eating the food I'm putting in there. I don't see like issues. It's just like really, really great. Um, I don't know why I didn't put all the food here. It's not that much food. I, I want. I guess I wanted. To, I knew I was going to be feeding my other bin within a day or two, um, so I wanted to save that for the other bin and and I guess just test like what if I t uh, I, I mentioned in a previous video uh, just testing things, doing diff slightly different things every time and seeing how that affects it. Like putting too much water, putting too much food. This one's like okay. How about what if I put just a little bit of food? Um, 
finally got more crushed eggshells that ran out a little bit ago, but um, try to get that in there. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm going to keep adding just a little bit of shredded um, cardboard and a little bit of shredded um, eggshells every time I can. And then this is me just, uh, you know, spreading it out and, and then I'll be uh, putting all the coverings back on. Um, yeah, I, I, so I, I did a little like editing in this video. You'll, you'll see like, for example, right there, just cuts, um, I try to cut out like the wasteful parts of the video where like nothing's happening. Um, so it's not like a 13 minute video and it's only a seven minute video. Still may be too long for some people, but um, just kind of testing it out to see if I can make it more efficient. I, I don't know, just, you know, I'm just playing with uh, video editing and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just I really don't really know what to say. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess I really don't have anything to say this time. Uh, but um, I use coffee filters to indicate where I last fed. Um, those are fresh new ones, so I expect in a week when I pull this up again, they'll still be intact and I can reuse them. Um, but then I noticed the the, the uh, newspaper I had been using was getting kind of ripped up and stuff, so I decided, hey, why not just like put a new layer on top? Uh, and then maybe like seven days from now, that old stuff on the bottom, I'll be able to kind of bury it, and uh, the new stuff will continue to stay on the top. And just keep going uh just keep going like that throughout the weeks so that's about it um yeah short ish it's sweet seven plus minutes uh thank you for watching uh like i've said before this is really just for me it's cool for me to document this on my journey um be sure to like comment and subscribe um i really do look at the watches and likes uh and it makes me feel good if it goes up so if you want to make me feel good go ahead and uh, give me a like i appreciate you and we'll see you next time